In this video, we prove a stronger condition for an adjoint functor to be full and faithful. We start with the definition. The center of the category A is defined to be the monoid of endonatural transformations of the identity. It turns out that the center of a category is always a commutative monoid. Indeed, let phi and psi be in the center of A. By naturality, for each A object x, the following commutes. Hence, phi psi is equal to psi phi on each component x. Therefore, the center is a commutative monoid. As a corollary, we have if an element phi in the center of A is a split epimorphism, then phi is necessarily an isomorphism. We let psi be the section of phi. By the lemma above, then psi is also the retraction of phi. Hence, phi is an isomorphism. Then the main result of this video is the following. Let FG be in a joint situation. If there exists a natural isomorphism alpha from FG to the identity functor on A, then the co-unit must also be an isomorphism. To prove this, consider the following diagram, where the diagonal is the identity on FG by the triangle identity for the adjoint situation. We use the isomorphism alpha to complete the diagram. Therefore, we see that the co-unit epsilon is a split epimorphism. And thus, epsilon alpha inverse is a split epimorphism, since alpha is an isomorphism. And therefore, epsilon is a split monomorphism as well, since epsilon alpha inverse is in the center of A and by the corollary above. And therefore, epsilon must be an isomorphism, which completes the proof. Then as a corollary, we have if FG is in a joint situation, G is full and faithful if and only if there exists a natural isomorphism from FG to the identity functor. And that follows from our previous video, which shows that G is full and faithful if and only if the co-unit is isomorphism.